Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on? And welcome back to another... Well, I just created something on a Rugby Challenge 3 video game video. Um, I don't know if you guys are still interested in these, but I am. And the fact is, is that I don't give a fuck who's watching. Um, if I want to make a video, I'll make it. And uh, this video series has gone on for probably longer than I thought, but it has taken longer than I thought. And each of these videos take, you know, probably triple the time, triple the amount of time that the video, to triple the length of time the video actually is to edit it, plus make it. Bro, each of these videos is fucking at least five or six hours work. And um, look, I'm just not getting the return on them, but I'm fucking enjoying them still. And at the end of the day, we're nearly finished. We really are. Today, we're gonna continue with the college football players. I'm gonna add another one to the reserve list. But first of all, I just wanna, I just wanna have a quick look at the team. How many players we've got so far? Let's just recap. So, guys, the team, the team so far, all right, this is how it's looking. At prop, we've got Aaron Donald, Hooker, Von Miller, Khalil Mack at prop, George Kittle at lock. We've got, well, we've got our choice of Travis Kelsey or Kalei Campbell at the other lock. I'm going to go Kalei Campbell. Blind side flanker, we've got JJ Watt. Open side flanker, we've got Luke Keekley. Number eight, we've got Derek Henry. Scrum half, Tom Brady although that may be changed. Fly half, Lamar Jackson. Left wing, we've got Tyreek Hill. Inside centre, we've got Saquon Barkley. Outside centre, Leonard Fournette. Right wing, Beckham Jr. Fullback, Christian McCaffrey. Now we get into the replacement. It looks as if we've got eight replacements to pick, okay? And so far, we've, we've made a few. We haven't made them all, so if we start at number 16 and we go to our custom players. Okay, so we've got three replacements so far. All right, let's get Jonathan Taylor in there. We've got Henry Ruggs and we've got Travis Kelsey. Okay, five more players. Now, of the replacements, you want a selection of backs and forwards so that, you know, if anyone on the field gets injured or has to come off for whatever reason, you've got someone to replace them. So, you know, in my opinion, we want probably three outside backs you probably want one replacement scrum half or number 10 and you want three or four replacement forwards and with that in mind we've already got two replacement backs in Henry Ruggs and Jonathan Taylor we've got a replacement forward in Travis Kelsey we're gonna have a replacement back in Tom Brady because we're gonna put Russell Wilson in at number nine so what that means is we've got Taylor Ruggs Kelsey and Brady okay next we want one more outside back and three more forwards. And with that in mind, one of the forwards is gonna be Chase Young. Another forward is gonna be Isaiah Simmons. And another forward is gonna be Andrew Thomas. And so if we've got one more back, we've got three, we do have three pretty dynamite, well, no, sorry, we've got, ah, oh, fuck, we've got Brady in there, don't we? Brady's a replacement scrum half. We've got Jonathan Taylor as a replacement midfielder. We've got Ruggs as a replacement outside back. So what we really need is a replacement kicker who has a decent boot. Because at the end of the day, Lamar Jackson is the kicker, but he's still got a terrible kick. So with that in mind, we need a, we need a kicker, we need a punter, we need a specific kicker in this team to step up when needed. And with that in mind, there is only one player and one player only. And um, you know, I've been wanting to do something with this player on this channel for a fairly, fairly long time. I, I watch a lot of his content myself, and to be fair, he is, a personality and a half. I mean, he's, he's got an unbiased opinion, which is extremely important. He's got an engaging personality and um, he's got passion behind it, passion behind sports. And, um, you know, I see a lot of myself in him in a funny way. And so with that in mind, his name is none other than Pat McAfee. And to be fair, I'm going to make Pat McAfee right now. That's what we're going to do. Pat McAfee, the replacement, the replacement number 10. He's going to have 100 kicking, and we'll make up the rest from his Madden ratings, as per usual. So let's go. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me. Right, here we go. First name. I am kind of getting sick of this, but it's it's got to be done. It, it simply has to. 
What a fucking team. How cool is that going to be? We're going to have a whole team <laughs> of NFL st stars, you know, playing rugby. So I can use them in the game, which is going to be fucking cool. Let's go. Pat. I wonder if McAfee is going to be in there. I doubt it. No. Nah. Age. Okay. So he's 33. We're going to go right-footed. We're going to go US. And we're going to go European. We're going to put him at, at fly half. Yes, we are. Fly half, and here are the attributes. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Now, I've got his statistics. Um, actually, you know what? No, we'll put in his um, we'll put in his height and weight first, which is 185 or six foot one, and 105 kg, or 230 pounds. 230 pounds, holy shit. Big boy, isn't he? 185. 185 and 103, boom, there you go. Okay, uh, so I've got a statistic from Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, apparently these were his statistics in 2017 on Madden. And with that being said, we have a fitness level. We got, we got some more stats here. We got some more stats, speed, acceleration, and agility. Is that all we can? Okay, no, he's a kicker. He's not gonna have not gonna have the other attributes that the other skill positions have. Okay, fitness, I'm gonna make it up. I'm gonna go, what do you do, 75. Speed, all right, 73. We've got a reading. Acceleration, 69. Agility, 75. Aggression, well I, I don't think he liked being tackled too much. And he was only a punter, can you get can you get really aggressive as a punter on the football field? I'm sure you can. I'm going to leave it at 75. Break tackle. 230 pounds. Depends what his speed is, to be fair. Let me let me have a look. He's got 73, but more importantly, what was his 40-yard dash? Pat McAfee, 40-yard dash. 4.89 seconds. Now, I have no idea where that's from. Okay. What do we got? 489. Uh, break tackle. I'll go 60. Tackling, you know, he's a big boy. I reckon he'd put his body on the line. I really do. Um, in fact, he probably did, to be fair, as a punter. But I still don't know. I haven't haven't reacted to his story. Haven't reacted to any of his highlights. So maybe I'll have to do that. But for now, we're going to put it to 60. Passing. Look, he doesn't have, well, over. no. He'd be a 12 overall if he was a quarterback. Okay, passing, we're going to leave it 60. Offloading. I'm going to put it to 50. General kicking, here we go. Here we go. You know what? Fuck it. Someone has to have 100. We're going to go Pat McAfee. Goal kicking. We're going to go Pat McAfee. He's actually got 91. So what has he got? Kicking power, 91. Kicking accuracy, 92. And 60 to run the ball as a fake kick. We're going to leave it at 100. Catching. He has to catch the ball. Come on. He's got to catch. He's got to... He's gonna catch the ball from the, the snapper. We're gonna put it up to 80. Strength, okay, this is interesting. No, there is no strength rating. I'm gonna put it up to 75. Mental agility, you know what? I reckon he's pretty switched on. And we're gonna go 70. This is a rugby game, you can't be perfect. You're learning a new game, mate. We're gonna go 70. Uh, jumping, what do you do? What do you do in times like this? You look up, Pat McAfee's vertical 74 yard punt he got one time holy shit pat mcafee hits the links after career best 74 yard punt indianapolis colts punter pat mcafee had reason to celebrate after a 70 74 yard punt the longest in his career and he went to the golf course for a chip shot <laughs> ah okay that was his celebration let me see this That's from his 15 yard line. Okay. Okay. It was 74 yards because he let it he let it bounce. Jumping 40, 70 discipline. Let's go to your head. Should that actually to be fair, that kind of looks like him. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. I mean, that's like like that's pretty good. Let's 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 go to the Get to the face.
I like that one. And I like that one. No, I like that one. Eye color, I'm not even sure. We're gonna go blue. Now. We're gonna go blonde, he's definitely blonde. And to be fair, that looks, well actually that looks pretty good. Mid-length, no we don't want mid-length. Fuck, is that him? Is that, is that, is that Pat? Or is that Pat? Or is that Pat? I reckon that's Pat tonight. Um, facial hair. He doesn't, oh no, he does, he's, yep. I see you, I see you, you got a little something, something, something. You can't really see it though, unfortunately, on this game. So we, we might have to go, might have to go a light brown here. And there you go. <laughs> Height and weight, we've done that, torso. Okay, so let me think. Six foot one, 103 kg. I've actually been that height and weight before. What did I look like? We're gonna say defined. Are you a hunchback? Or are you somewhere in between? I reckon somewhere in between. Arms. You do have pretty, you got, well, you got some guns. I mean, you like showing them off on your show, don't you? But they're, they're certainly not that big. No, no, no. They're probably about that big, to be fair. Legs. I'm, I'm assuming you've got massive pins, and that act that's actually what takes up a lot of your weight. Uh, let's continue. Okay. So, as per usual, as a backs player, um, there's no headgear, but there are purple sleeves and purple boots. And that, my friends, is Pat McAfee. So, we're going to save that. And let's have a look at his rating. 82! He's got the lowest rating so far, which is to be expected. He is a kicker, he's a specialist kicker, and um, well, well, I can't wait to put him in a game. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to create Team Pat McAfee, I'm going to take the mighty New Zealand All Blacks. We're going we're to put Pat McAfee's player in Dan Carter's position. We're going to take Dan Carter out from the fly half position, put Pat McAfee in, and see how he goes. We're going to sim the match, 10 minutes long, against the USA Eagles. And with that being said, I'll see you there. Cheers, Pat. Keep up the great work. I hope you enjoyed. The USA are one of the real improvers in world rugby. And some famous upset victories in their history, but not a team to be taken lightly. The All Blacks are in such incredible form of late, I can only see this match going one way. And joining me is former All Black, Justin Marshall. Could be a bit of a mismatch, this one, Justin. Definitely but I wouldn't write them off just quite yet. Crowd are eager to see things get started. The atmosphere just starting to build. Both teams will be pumped up for this one. It should be a great game. Your Blacks prepare to do the haka. Challenge accepted, I think it's fair to say. We're just waiting for the referee to give us the word and we'll be underway. The ref gives the signal and we're underway. Fikatoa snaps up the kicker. Turnover. Great work at the breakdown. Tries the pin, but just too strong for him. Richie McCaw gets it. So a maul here. And they've got it at the back there. Not a good tackle, that one. Uh, that pass was fired very flat. 
Driving right at the defence. That tackle hasn't stopped him. There's a knock on there. He's playing advantage. It's always frustrating when you give away a knock on Nisbo. He'll not be happy with himself. Yeah, he just lost control of the ball on that occasion. First Ouch. scrum in the game. Fine. Good position for them to get a scrum. Set. Davis puts it in. A brutal contest in the scrum. Paul delivers it to a runner. Crunch to ground. Pushes him out of the way. Taken down in a brutal tackle. Wyatt Croft delivers it on. He's chucked a beautiful pass inside. Ma'anonu going hard. Release. Ruck is formed. He has to release. He pushes it on. And the support is there. He has a real crack at the defensive line. Can he go at the ball? Pretty poor defence, really. Mialamu finds a runner. Now taken to the ground in a good tackle. Now he gets the ball away. Pass inside. Owen Franks pulls him down in a textbook tackle. Well, there lies the problem, really. The inability to cover at the right time. Advantage was being played, so back for the scrum. Things just not going right for them there, and the mistake came as a result. Crouch. It's going to be a scrum. Bind. Set. Davis rolls it in. Both teams putting pressure on. He's fallen off that tackle. Flat pass. And he shows the dummy. Coleman with an excellent run. And he's finally Grace. taken to ground. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. And he gets smashed in the tackle. Having a go at the ball. Back he goes. No way through there. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. The 5'8", charging on. Aaron Smith showing plenty of speed. Richie McCaw lays it back. The ball's being contested. The defence, their line speed defensively was below average. And taken finally. Aaron Smith finds support. Julian Sabia takes him in a nice tackle. Aaron Smith picks it up. Release. He's got to let it go now. Yep, that's a maul. Brody Retallick has it at the back of the maul. The first five gets the ball away. Release. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Gets away from the first defender. And yeah, there's no defence at all. They really need to start getting it right. The defence having some trouble now. They really need to start tightening things up. He gets it off to the support. Reed goes off, running hard at them. Aaron Smith delivers it to a runner. Ma'anonu, plenty of pace. Ball's being contested. It's a perfect opportunity. Advantage. That's a knock-on. So ref playing advantage. Can't afford handling errors like that. Davis has it out the back. The All Blacks will get another shot at this with the scrum five metres out. So they'll come back for the scrum here. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed at that. Crouch. Find. Set. And a good battle going on here. Both teams putting pressure on. Ball is out now. Ref says ball is out. Edwards has no answer to that tackle. Coleman has it now. 
Stewart makes the clearance. Julian Savio snapped it up. And he's knocked down hard. Smith delivers the ball. Good defence. Easily beats the defender. Passes delivered inside. Took a Please. trying to turn it over quickly. Advantage. It's forward. Pass goes inside there. Yes, things falling apart there, Nisbo. A bit untidy, really. Neither team able to pull away so far. The scores are tied as we head to the break. Half time here, and great work to keep things unexpectedly close by USA. We're pretty much at capacity, and the atmosphere is still building as this match progresses. Bit of an untidy match so far, Justin. The interesting thing is the stats, Nisbo. Possession is pretty even, actually. No tries in the match so far. Neither team able to find a way through. There's only been a few turnovers in the first half. We'll see how the next 40 minutes pans out. The 5-8 goes short. Kickoff dragged down. And they've held this ball perfectly. A pick and go. Good run. Somehow he's managed to grab that back. Yep, they've got him down. He spreads it. Sends it flat. Driven hard into the turf. Davis picks it up. Edwards tries his luck with a kick. Fekatoa takes it in. Yeah, he took a great catch. He was under all sorts of pressure too, but he handled it well. Gilmore runs it at them. Taken down Release. in a brutal tackle. Ruck is formed. He has to release. Butcher launching himself at the defence. Looks like it's still on the side of USA. Williams keeps the ball moving. Good contest, but it's still theirs. Holland is absolutely smashed. Good work in the ruck by USA. And he's kicked that well. USA chasing up now. That's a lovely advantage. Pass. And that's a knock-on by the left winger. So playing advantage here. It just slipped out of his hands. It only takes a split second lapse in concentration, really. The conditions are good, and there's no excuse for so many handling errors here. Here's the pass. He pops the pass nicely. Edwards pulls him down. Crunch to ground. Release. He's having a go at the ball. Davis looks for options, and they drive him into the ground. That'll knock the wind out of him, and he stopped in that one. Ball pops out, and he takes a run. Release. Back to his feet quickly, and wrestling for the ball. Barry finds a teammate. Powerful defense. Great work to keep the ball alive here. Good play, good number of phases. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Nice phase play opening up the opportunity. Now the chaser is coming forward onto this. Ben Smith unleashes a big punt. He kicks it deep. Here comes the chase. Loose ball snapped up. New Zealand chasing hard. Gilmore charging his way downfield. Well, it's hit the posts and no good. That's got them on the back foot. Ball is ready now. Kieran Reid moves it on. Strong defence. Butcher tidies up. Great defence. Ball's being contested. And they... He's not letting go. There's the ball. Advantage. A forward pass. Davis is nailed in that one. And they'll come back for the scrum. So a mistake there, and they will not be happy about it at all. The scrum now. Bind. Set. A brutal contest in the scrum.
Good pushing from both teams. They've turned it. Solid scrum and the ball's out. The ball is out now. Fantastic. Having a go at the ball. Richie McCaw is chasing after this. Stewart snaps it up. Looks forward to me. Up to and over halfway now. The referee has pulled them up. They'll go back for the scrum. Things just not going right for them there, and the mistake came as a result. Crouch. Bind. Set. Aaron Smith puts it in. Furious looking scrum down there. Oh, they've only got a few minutes to make something. That's the ball out there. Ball's out here. Here's a go. Strong run. Kevin Mialamo picks it up. And he's pounded into the ground. Not much time remaining now. Delivers it back inside. Julian Sabi has support with him. They have to scramble a defence to tackle him. I think they still have this one. Oh, he's got away. Over the line it goes. The fat lady's warming up. It's almost over here. Not much time remaining now. Liam Messam. Trying to turn it over quickly. Aaron Smith takes it. Moves it on. He pushes it on. Richie McCaw feeds it on. Thekatoa gets past the 10 metre line. Yes, just too much weight on that one. Yeah, you don't see it very often, but this one has ended in a draw. It's been an interesting game here. And a thrilling battle that has ended up a draw here. There were quite a number of kicks made in this match. It was a real old-fashioned kicking battle. The stats show the problem for them. The handling was very poor. So a good result. And the outcome, well, it's exactly as we thought it would go. That's it. See you next time.